Today we'll head around Chincoteague Island in a boat and then we'll head to Washington, D.C. We'll be in four different states, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, and the District of Columbia. We will wake up in our hotel, the Comfort Suites, and this is the view we would have had across the back bay. We're going to go back to Assateague Island and look for some more horses, and there are three more out in the same field that we saw them in yesterday. We also see a large common snapping turtle crossing the road and stop to take a look. We'll also take a ride out to the Assateague Lighthouse and look at it. But our main purpose to be here today is to look at events are surrounding the book in Misty. Here's the statue in downtown Chincoteague. And here you can see Miss Molly's, where the book was written. Misty even left her hoof prints in front of the local theater. Now we'll sit down and wait with the Bonaparte go to see if we're going to be able to go out on Captain Dan's tour around the island. We hope we will, but it's pouring down rain. This is the route we'd be taking around the entire island. And here comes Captain Dan. We'll find out if we're going or not. It's pouring down rain, but he says he'll go if we are, and so we go, and off we go. As we leave, you can see the electric poles here for where the electricity runs under the canal, and you can see all the condos that are along this area. Soon we're heading out more into the open ocean, and here you see a house that is for sale, only a half a million dollars. The first horse has arrived in about 1520 from a Spanish shipwreck here. And here's our first horses that we'll be seeing. We'll be seeing about four herds today. Besides seeing the horses, we'll be seeing a lot of wildlife too. Oyster catchers with their distinctive orange bills, Bonaparte gulls with their gray backs, and winslets with their brown bodies. The large gull in the center is a herring gull. Immediately on our left hand side, right in between these two docks on our left, right in front of these townhouses out here. Not a huge distance, you know, probably less than 100 yards from one That's side to swim to. Even if you were paying attention from earlier, whenever we get these narrow bodies of water, you can almost guarantee they're going to be pretty deep. So where we are right now, where they do the swim, it's about 30 foot of water where we are right now. The horses will overpopulate the island if not rounded up and sold off about twice a year. So they round up all the horses and bring them to the pen to be checked by a vet to see if they can swim or not. And then they're brought down to the shore on the proper day. And when the tide is slack, they swim across to Chincoteague Island. And there are thousands of people that come to watch this happen. They float their own horses across and then they drive them down the road to the fairgrounds. At the fairgrounds, they are sorted and auctioned off. They have various programs. And the females that are pregnant and have babies that are too young to be separated are kept with their babies until they are weaned and then the adults are moved back to the island. The funds are used to support the local fire department. 
along the shore we see some common egrets feeding. And there's the lighthouse again. And there in the shadow of the lighthouse, there's another herd. This is Ace's Black Tie Affairs herd. This is a rather large herd. Cormorants are everywhere, sitting on the post of the docks. Now we go under the bridge that leads out from Chincoteague to Assateague Island. Crabbers are out sitting out their pots to catch their crabs. And here on one of the duck blinds is a nest for an osprey with a young osprey in it. Then up on the road in Bagman, there's a third herd. And out in the marsh are more birds of Winslet. A Bonaparte goes and a heron go. There are also oyster catchers and a snowy egret. And underneath this house, there's another great blue heron fish. Next, we find another small herd of just three horses out in the heavy rain. Then we're headed back to the harbor and you can see the storm has been going on all day. We drive into the back bay and along the way we see a bald eagle there on the left of this housetop. And there are duck blinds everywhere, including this one you can drive a boat right on in. Here's Deborah touching again. She's not obeying the laws. Now we'll be leaving Chincoteague Island and headed northward toward Washington, D.C. Those big dishes belong to Wallops Island Flight Center from NASA. Now we head north to D.C. We'll be passing through Maryland and Delaware along the way as we go north. And then as we get to Annapolis, we'll turn south and head back to the D.C. area. Let's keep going. Now we're at the place where we turn southward toward D.C. Soon driving into the DC area. Traffic will become pretty heavy as we head out of the city toward Arlington. We 
We're getting close to the mall now. There on the horizon directly in front of us is the Washington Monument. And there to the right is the Capitol Dome. Soon we're crossing the Potomac River and driving in Arlington, underneath the Arlington Bridge going to the cemetery. There in front of us is the Pentagon. Soon we're driving in the Rosalind area of Arlington. We'll be staying about two weeks here in a hotel. And it'll be just on our right. And that ahead of us, that bridge, will be the one we'll cross every morning as we go to pick up our bus. Now it's time to pull into our hotel, the Best Western Rosalind Iwo G, and get in our room for the night. We unload the car and move in for 12 days, and this brings us to the end of day two. 